Good afternoon, guys. And uh, tomorrow is our last 77 summer tournament. And um, I just can't tell you how proud I am of the progress we've made as a group and as a program and um, creating just an uncommonly great culture. That's really the most important thing above and beyond winning games um, or making progress in, in personal performance and because there's no question that you guys are all remarkable players. You all have some unique gifts and talents that make you each special in your own right. And you guys have worked so hard to refine those techniques and become better in your positions and better for the team. It's been it's been a lot of fun watching it happen. But when we get tested this season, uh, the culture and um, our character is going to be what pushes us through those moments of adversity uh, when we're not comfortable and we're getting tested. I've seen us as a group countless times over and over and over again respond in such positive ways when we've been tested at these 77 tournaments. And unfortunately, it's not something the whole uh, program has been able to uh, be a part of. But when you guys come back uh, to the training program, when you come back to um, youth camps and team camps, your experience and your development and your growth in that culture very much it needs to be and has been um, you know, felt and, and, and shared with the rest of the program. And uh, that's an important thing to know. It doesn't mean that you guys carry the the only responsibility to the program of helping us make sure that we have that winning and uncommonly great culture is something that needs to be shared with everybody. Uh, but sometimes the experiences you guys have had or continue to have is the experiences that not everybody gets to have or experience themselves that will carry us and help us make progress even before we step foot on the football field. And so um, it's been a pleasure. It's been awesome. And, and I'm proud of you guys. And I expect tomorrow at Towson for us to go out there and carry ourselves in the same way that we've carried ourselves in the past. You know, our parents be supportive and, and, and encouraging to you guys and our, and our play, our coaches, uh, to be encouraging and in support of each other. For us to be open and honest and, and aware of what we need to do to continue to get better, no matter who the opponent is. And no matter if it's the first game, the last game, or the championship game, we need to make sure that we're putting our best foot forward and giving that same effort that you guys have given all summer long. Challenge yourselves and allow those coaches to pour into you. Allow your teammates to pour into you. And let's get the most out of this last experience. I'm not going to sit here and say that, you know what, it's the last one, and so let's go out and win a championship. You guys have already won championships, and there are championships that go above and beyond uh, the accolades you may receive in a trophy at the end of a tournament or at the end of a season. And I know sometimes it doesn't make sense and it's not something you guys are always wanting to have, but I'm telling you, when I see the development of our character and again, our culture, these are the things that are going to guarantee success beyond the football field and into your families and into your future. So I'm proud of you. I also want to send this message to let you know that I'm um, once again, I, I won't be able to be at the tournament tomorrow, and, and it's, it's a little frustrating. It's been a tough week um, for me, not major, but it's been tough, um, you know, because I haven't been able to be out there with you guys to the same capacity I, that I normally am uh, with the procedures I've had done on my legs. Uh, I don't want to risk being up on them too long and have one of those veins rupture and then reset the entire work that I've had. Uh, and have to pay for it and do it all over again, especially with the two weeks that we've got coming up. And next week's going to be a fun week with two days of training and then the four days of our youth contact camp and then going into Shepherd. I want to make sure that I'm able to do that. And I want you guys to know that it's never that I believe that the work or the effort or the energy that I can put into you guys at a tournament or a game will make a major difference in how we perform. In actuality, you guys are the ones that make it happen, and uh, our coaches are the ones that make it happen. And I am so gracious and grateful for the time and energy that our coaches have been able to put into you guys this season to ensure that you guys have a great experience, and have fun, and build memories for the future. And they've done a masterful job. And so my heart aches uh, because I miss you guys, and I enjoy being with you guys. 
Uh, and also, I don't like letting our coaches down. And, and I don't like, you know, putting the responsibility of things on just our coaches. Uh, and yet they gladly do it because I think they see the pleasure and the enjoyment of being with you guys, too. And so I look forward to seeing updates and hearing updates from you all. I want you guys to continue to regularly let me know how things are going tomorrow throughout the day. And, uh, you know, take pictures, uh, bring smiles. And uh, know that we've only got a few short weeks left of uh, this summer. And uh, we'll be right into football season here soon. So I love you guys. I can't wait to hear how it goes. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you now. I'm proud of you tomorrow. I'll be proud of you always. I'm out. Boom.